Hi, and welcome back once again to Windy Nation TV. Let's begin by hooking up our Wintura 750 to a battery bank with a DC controller. We'll use the red wire for positive connection and black for negative, all of which will be standard 6 gauge. Now, since the alternator in the Wintura 750 puts out AC electricity, we need to use a three-phase bridge rectifier to convert the AC electricity to DC, which makes it compatible with the DC charge controller and the batteries. But if your power source puts out DC electricity, the rectifier is not needed. The rectifier has five connection terminals, three on one side and two on the other. The three wires coming from the wind turbine connect to the three AC terminals on the rectifier. It does not matter which wire from the wind turbine goes to which AC terminal on the rectifier. Now, let's go ahead and connect a red positive wire to the terminal on the rectifier, which is labeled DC positive. And the other end of that wire will be connected to a disconnect. We're using a 50 amp automatic reset circuit breaker for our disconnect, but you could also use a disconnect switch or a fuse. From the other end of the circuit breaker, we'll connect a new red wire and attach it to the positive terminal of the battery. Now we go back to the rectifier, attach a black wire to the terminal that is labeled DC negative, and run it to the negative terminal of the battery. One more thing to note is that we want to keep our DC wire runs as short as possible in order to minimize energy loss in the wires. For the visual purposes of this video, our wires are not as short as they could be. Next we're going to open up the DC controller. First, remove the four screws on the faceplate. Remove the appropriate sized metal plug for the conduit you're using. On the bottom, you will see four terminals for connecting to your C60 DC charge controller. Find the terminal for battery positive and connect a stranded six gauge red wire. Also, please note that for this video, we are not using conduit or strain reliefs over our wires. Conduit and strain reliefs are very important for the protection of your wires coming into and out of your DC controller. The other end of the red wire you connected to the battery positive terminal on the C60 DC charge controller gets connected to another circuit breaker. This is your battery disconnect. Now, attach another red wire to the other end of the circuit breaker and run it to the positive terminal on the battery. Next. Take a black wire from the battery's negative terminal and connect it to one of the two terminals marked common negative inside the DC controller. Now we get to the diversion load. Remember, the diversion load or dump load is where the excess energy is dumped by the DC charge controller when the battery bank is fully charged. This particular dump load is a wire wound resistor which Windy Nation sells in its online store. For a 12 volt system, the Wintura 750 needs a 600 watt dump load. Here you can see we have two 12 volt 300 watt dump loads wired in parallel to make a single 600 watt dump load. Now let's take a black wire and connect it to the remaining terminal in the DC controller labeled common negative and connect the other end to the negative terminal of the dump load. For a wire wound resistor dump load like we're using, there's no positive or negative side so you get to choose which end to connect the negative wire to. The final terminal in your DC controller is labeled PV positive slash load positive. Take a red wire from that terminal and connect it to the positive terminal on the dump load. Now that we're wired, the entire system needs to be grounded. Please see the user manual for further instructions on grounding. In our next video, we'll show you the Xantrax C60 in action. WindyNation.com. Clean power to the people.